Hello everyone, welcome to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is a short film. Today we're going to see the steps to install Microsoft SQL Server 2017. Uh, this part, and after that, we will have to install SQL Server Management Studio, which is SSMS2, uh, to work on your uh, Microsoft, you know, editor. So let's uh, install the SQL Server 2017 first. So let's open your browser and then in uh, Google you search uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2017 download you will see it will show you some result and uh, based on the result you will see the first one SQL Server download let's click there and then it will take you to this page and then you'll see this is a uh, SQL Server on primes and it's a cloud version but we're not looking for crowd we'll look for a developer edition which is free you will see the full features free edition license for use as a developer and test database okay so let's click on download now so you will see it will download it so it depends on your computer your internet speed it you know it's uh, may take a little bit uh, long it's up it's up really up to your computer into internet speed. so let's open this click on yes so now it started keep it English if you want to change your location it's a different uh, if you don't want to say I want to change I can put it in my desktop I have a uh, folder I give a name SQL Server 2017 click on OK you know it's up to you if you want to change or if you want to keep it as it is fine so click on download so it will take several minutes to download uh, it's a quite a big file it's uh, more than a gigabyte you can see 1474 MB so it's quite a big file so it will take a little bit time to download it and uh, uh, let it go and uh, finish it and then after that you know we'll see the rest of the steps let's see so let's uh what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, pause the video and then we'll start from there okay and then when it's a download is finished just let it go and uh, I will we'll start our uh, you know the next video when it's a download is done and and moving forward then uh, we'll see the next steps thank you hello everyone welcome back to Pony Box Automation Lab so this is the, uh, uh, the continuation of the installation SQL Server 2017. Uh, please watch my previous uh, video, uh, the it was installation. So the end of the installation, okay, uh, when it's uh, finished, it's uh, it really depends on your com uh, computer and uh, internet speed. So anyways, after you finish, you will find this type of window, right? They will say, it will say developer edition, installation is complete successfully. And here is some option, just in, unless you want to change uh, your uh, you know uh, your path over her overall over here so you can change it or just keep it as it is I would say just leave it as it is so just just remember that this is the actual database engine right okay this is the actual database engine that we finished the installation but still there is a one more thing that we need to install it's called you can see install SSMS SSMS it means SQL Server Management Studio, which is the editor, because this is the engine we install, and then to write your SQL query, you need an editor. So SQL Server Management Studio is an editor. So you can either click on there, here, and you can install from there, or you can just even you know type, go here, in your, in your, in your Google, you can say uh, SQL. Yeah, SQL Server Management Studio, and then you can go there, and from here, I believe you can 
download you can see this is download as tools server management studio you can you can either download from here too and install it okay or you can just let's see click on there okay open in chrome then click on there it will take you the same page exactly the same page and then install from here just click on download as tools server management studio which is the editor to write our code and the last one we install it, it, it is the database engine okay so uh, it, it is all you install in, in my machine it's nothing complex it's very simple just you know click it and then you know uh, download it and after that you will install you will find something something like this ssms setup and then click on there and then click on there and you start to install it okay yes you can say yes and then it's a, since it's already installed on my machine that's why saying install repair or close okay i'm not going to do anything just you will start to install and finish it just a matter of time after you finish so your machine will have ssms which is the editor and also your uh your database engine so to write our code we'll open ssms uh, how what are you going to do you will go to your start and type uh sql server you can say sql server management studio sql server management studio app you can see here click on there the editor will open okay the editor will open and then this window will come up the connect server window so by default if you don't change any you know setup when you install the server you know it will show the server name will the server type first is data database engine and server name it should be your name and like your owner the pc name uh, dash like pc if you see some reason uh, this uh, field is empty just click on there and then click on browse and then under the local server click on database engine open this uh, you know plus sign and you will see that's your name pc click on ok come here and then leave the authentication like your windows authentication if you okay as it is and then click on connect here we go and then you are already connected to you your database server uh, through you at ssms and then you can click on new your, your editor is ready for the new query to write your query okay it's very straightforward so install first SQL Server uh, database, you know, it's the developer edition, and then just to install the basic, uh, you know, the basic uh, uh, configuration, and then install the SSMS. Okay, that's all, and you are good to go uh, to you know write your query. Thank you so much. Uh, you have a good one. Bye bye.